Hello, fellow scientists. Uh, since many of you are stuck at home right now, we thought we would bring you some activities you could do at home. Today's activity is making fluffy slime. Um, so to begin with, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get these two cups. One is filled with borax. Borax is a laundry additive that you can get to the grocery store, but if you don't have borax or you're nervous about borax, you can actually use many types of saline solution as well. They don't all work, so you kinda gotta try it. I wanna create a super saturated solution of borax and water. So I'm gonna put equal parts water to my borax, and then I'm gonna stir it up a little bit and let it set for a minute. I might need to add some additional water here in a minute, but I'm gonna let it sit for just one second while I tell you about polymers. Now, what we're making today when we make slime, it's a polymer. So basically, polymers are long molecule chains that slip back and forth next to each other. And by taking this additive, which is the borax solution that we just made, and adding it to our glue, which we'll do in a minute, we're taking, instead of these long chains, we're taking and making a net or a web, and it's trapping those water molecules inside that net so they can't escape. There are lots and lots and lots of different molecules um, that are polymers in your natural life. Gum is a polymer. Uh, this plastic bottle, it's a polymer. So you probably know about them or see them, but you may not have known that word. So, when we add the, mm, yeah, we're getting there. When we add the glue to this, it's gonna change consistency. If you've done this at home or if you've done this at school, you know what to expect, but we're gonna have one extra little step in here that'll make it a little bit funner. Funner is a word. Okay, so I'm going to take my super saturated solution and I'm gonna pour some off. And this is what didn't end up mixing in with my water. If you wanna do this overnight so you don't have to mess with this step, if you just put some of the borax into a water bottle, probably half a cup to a water bottle, it'll dissolve on its own overnight or you can shake it up a couple times and it'll take care of itself. So the next step, we're gonna add the glue. And you wanna add about one to one. Boop. I probably could add a little bit more glue, but you get the point. So I'm going to stir it. Now this is kind of a crucial step because look what's already happened. But do you see this pocket right here? It's full of glue that has not been touched by the borax, so you need to make sure you pop all those bubbles. This is a good time to get dirty. If you're, if you're at home and your mom will let you. You can pop the bubbles, make sure they all touch the borax, and then what you're gonna end up with is this sort of wad of gross. Um, as my friend Kelsey said, and you'll see her on some of these other videos, this is not a carpet toy. You need to make sure that you're careful about where you're playing with this because it is a uh, polymer and it's a colloid, so it's a liquid solid, and it will sort of oog out, and if it oogs on top of any fibers, it's gonna get stuck there and you're gonna be in trouble. Okay, let me see if I popped all our bubbles. We have. Okay, the next step to make this even more fun, boop, is we're gonna get rid of this water, and now we're going to add shaving cream. <laughs> <laughs> and then you add your glue. And then you add your food coloring if you want. And then Kelsey steals your thing. <laughs> We're not trashy, it's fine. Now here's where the magic comes. Are you ready for this? Okay, so we have glue mixed with shaving cream and then I added a little bit of food coloring just for some fun. We have our super saturated solution over here. And I'm gonna pour this into there and here's where the magic comes. Okay, this is a little bit different and a little bit more fun than regular slime because it does stay fluffy. 
Um, it doesn't stay fluffy forever, but it will stay fluffy for a day or two. Boop. All right. Ah. And it's a little bit juicy when you first get it out, but if you just mix it together, it dries right up. And it smells good. So hopefully you have some time today to do a little bit of investigation with polymers. And for more activities like these that you can do at home, check us out on our social media platforms.